Whenever I go on vacation, it's just a given that MLB The Show is going to drop that week. Happens every year. But now today, let's talk about what you should be doing when you first get your hands on the game, and that is Conquest. We have four main Conquest maps you should be working on at the moment. You got the TA Season 1 Chapter 1s, TA East, TA Central, TA West, then of course, the big daddy, the Nation of Baseball. That one's a fucking behemoth. These Conquest maps are great. You can get a lot of XP, you can work on player missions. You also get a lot of packs from these goals. But now let's talk about everybody's favorite thing, the hidden rewards. I have the hidden rewards for all four of these Conquest maps. So let's start out with T. TA East. So this is what the map looks like straight up and the central and the west are going to be very similar in terms of the hidden rewards and the goals you get just in different locations. You have to beat 10 different teams so it's no like quick you're gonna get this done in an hour it's gonna take you a little bit to get done of course here are gonna be the goals goal one acquire 50 million fans 250 stubs capture three enemy strongholds so beating any of these teams right here that's gonna end up getting you a show pack capturing all the american league strongholds so beating five al east or whatever map i'm on that's gonna get you a show pack same with the national league if you beat the entire nl east that'll get you a show pack and then completing the entire map can get you a headliners pack it doesn't specify which one so i think it's going to be either the newest one or it's going to be a random one right now we have three out there where you can get mickey mantle tom siever or michael young all three of them look like really good cards this early in the game. But now let me tell you about today's sponsor, Underdog Fantasy. Underdog is my favorite place to play fantasy games, more specifically, their pick'em entries. All you have to do is pick higher or lower for two to five stats from your favorite players. Simply just submit the ticket and you can earn up to 20 times your money. The best part about Underdog is that if you use code BKINDLE or click the link in the description, they will double your first deposit up to $100. Again, download the Underdog Fantasy app and use code BKINDLE to double your first deposit. Now back to the video. So this is what the map looks like now. So now let's take a look at the hitter rewards for the Team Affinity East map. But before we do that, I'm gonna be honest with you. These are very, very overwhelming in my opinion. I'm gonna let you guys make that decision for yourself. So you'll see on the map, you only have three different packs you can get and they are all show packs. In all these thumbnails I'm gonna show you, the green circle represents you have to beat a stronghold. So for example, this top left one where you get a show pack, you have to beat the New York Met stronghold to get it. Then you have to beat a second stronghold, which is towards the bottom of the map, which has been the Baltimore Orioles. And they'll get you another show pack. The only one you don't need to beat one is right below the Nationals. That gets you a show pack. So in total, beating all 10 of these teams along the way, you only get three packs and they are all show packs. So odds are you're gonna pull a bunch of commons, a bunch of bronzes. They're not good this year. They've been better in years past. Usually they juice them up. Not this year, you got the middle finger and they're like, no, we're giving you too much XP for this. Oh, but speaking of XP, if you beat the TA East, the TA Central or the TA West, the reason we're not getting so many rewards from it in terms of goals, in terms of hidden rewards is because for beating the map, you're gonna get 30,000 XP for the Central. And that's in both sides too. So if I beat the Central Conquest map, I get 30,000 XP on the AL Central side of things. I'm also gonna get 30,000 XP on the NL Central side of things. So pretty good deal. That's gonna bring you all the way to goal number seven. So you got unlockables, some packs along the way, nothing crazy, but you're about halfway towards the first season one, chapter one boss pack. And if you do things right, which you go down and complete the repeatable missions, which is just getting 6,000 XP with players from that division. So if I do the NL Central, for example, I want a boss pack from the NL Central. I use Cubs, Reds, Brewers, Pirates, Cardinals, or the bosses, just stack up my team with as many of those players as I can possibly get. So I'm a Brewers fan, I'll use them as an example. If I do the entire NL Central Conquest map or the NLTA Conquest map, and I just fill my lineup all with Brewers, I should be able to get 1500 PXP in 10 games. 
I'd say probably two to three times at least. So there is 12,000 to 18,000 more XP. You should be close to getting your first boss back by the time you're done with the entire time quest map. Maybe you can fit in more. 1500's not a lot, especially if you use pitchers. Pitchers get more PXP. But then I'm at least right there to get my first boss back. So that was the East. Now let's move on to the TA Central. Everything's gonna remain pretty similar in terms of the packs you get and the goals just in different locations the goals all remain exactly the same you complete the nl al central you'll get a show pack nl central show pack same thing completing everything you'll get another one of these headliners packs so you have a better shot at getting something good including one of the he main headliner bosses so same thing as before you got 10 different teams that you need to be and then of course the rewards are kind of poo poo not very good those green circles are gonna represent being team strongholds again so if i beat the brewers i get a show pack and if i beat the white Sox, i get a show pack the only one I don't is going to be between the Tigers and the Royals. I can get a show pack just from going over. So even if you don't want to play Team Affinity or Conquest or whatever, you can just move your guy over and get three free packs in all three of these Team Affinity Conquest maps pretty easily without having to play a game. So the Nation of Baseball is much better than this, but let's just finish it off. Going to the TA West. This one actually looks kind of dope. The fucking like landscape of it and everything. 10 teams you have to beat. Once again, you are only going to get three show packs. Dude, they really gypped us on the hidden rewards for this one. You'll get a show pack for being the Arizona Diamondbacks stronghold and also gain one for being the Seattle Mariners stronghold. The only one you don't need one is going to be right in the middle of the map. You actually will have to beat a stronghold to even get to it, but you can you know, get a stronghold, dog. I am praying that kind of going forward in Team Affinity that we'll get in the next couple of weeks that they are going to be much, much better hidden rewards in the Conquest maps than what we got in these. Nine total show packs for 30 different games is not cutting. But let me know what you think. Is this going to decipher your decision for actually playing these Conquest maps? Remember, 30,000 XP on top of what you get for the player PXP. It's definitely still worth it to do because TA's got some really good players in it, but it does make it less exciting to grind for, that's for sure. But now we got the big daddy, the nation of baseball, which is you having to beat every single team in the MLB, all 30 teams. The best way to complete this, is my opinion, is to just take over all these little spaces that are not taken over. Just take over as much as you can. Don't play a single game. Surround these people. Lock them in. Whatever. And then once you have the entire map filled, besides these strongholds or whatever, just go to the stronghold you want. So I got the entire map filled. I'll move a Mariner. The Mariners can't really do, move anywhere. They just got their stronghold left. I'll put this up to 99 whenever I can. Play it on rookie or veteran difficulty and then just knock them out right away. That, in my opinion, is the easiest way to do it. That's the way I've done it for years. But here are the goals that you can get. They're at least a little bit better. And by a little bit better, I mean you just get more packs. 50 million fans gets you a show pack. 100 million fans gets you a show pack. Get some stubs and XP along the way. 150 million fans, another show pack. 100 territories, show pack. 200 million fans. Five show packs. You're starting to see a trend here. They just love giving away the show packs. Conquering 200 territories gets you a City Connect jersey. Capturing the NL West gets you an 85 overall AJ Pollock. Capturing the entire NL Central gets you an 85 overall Mark the Man Lanson. Capturing the entire NL East gives you an 85 overall Orlando Cepedas with some decent hitting stats. The AL West will get you an 85 overall Troy First of all, he does not have outlier and only a three pitch mix on him, not the best card. The AL Central will get you an 85 overall Carlos Rendon on the White Sox, back when he was actually good. I don't know what the Yankees did to that man. And then the AL East will get you an 85 overall Big Poppy. Big time power around this card. Could be a fun card to use. Acquiring 300 million fans gets you 10 show pack. You get a banner. Completing the entire National League gets you an 87 overall Bill Mazeroski. They even gave him some decent power on the card, so not bad. And then the entire American League will get you an 87 overall Jim Rice. Really good stats except for his power versus lefties. And then completing the entire map, capturing every stronghold, gets you an 89 overall Stan the Man in same contact, but his power is not very good. And then conquering everything on the map gets you a 20 show pack bundle. It's funny to me because for Team Affinity, you still, in order to get every single one of those done, all three maps, you have to play every single team, but you only got nine total packs 
plus a few more. Let's say you got like, I don't know, maybe like six packs to, or 12, 15 packs total. They, for this alone, just for being it, you have a 20 show pack. You get more alone in one goal than you do for the hidden rewards and the goals in all the team of Indies combined. Kind of crazy to me. But here are the hitter rewards for the Nation of Baseball Conquest map. Beating every single team is going to give you a jersey of that team. So for example, if I beat the Mariners, I'm going to get a Mariners jersey. So if you're a jersey fiend and you want your favorite team's jersey, I mean, it's at least a cool way, especially if you like do content or anything and want to do team builds and want to have their jersey. Whatever the case may be, you can get every team's jersey. At the very top, by the Mariners, you can get five show packs. To the right of them, you can get a show pack, another show pack, down some, a show pack, down some more, a show pack, to the right, a show pack, down towards the bottom of the map, five show packs and then finally when we get to the center over by texas as you know everything is bigger in texas you get a ballin is a habit pack so a guaranteed gold or better card have a chance at a diamond you can get a legends icon in the middle a classic stadium if you're into that i could honestly care less uh top of the map by the brewers another show pack over to the right of them another show pack and down, down over by Florida, all the crazy states gain the good cards. You get another ball as a habit pack. Up more is a bat skin. And then right next to the Blue Jays stronghold, you can get a ball as habit pack. It's weird where they have the Blue Jays place. I've never realized that in all my MLB the show days. That is not Canada. But either way, you can get three total ball as habit packs and a shit ton of show packs along with all the goals. But those are all the main conquest maps you should be working on right now and what their hidden rewards are. Let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are. Does it decipher you away from doing Team Affinity? Is the nation of baseball just too much of a grind even though you got like 10 total players and a shit ton of packs? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Road to 5,000 subs. Hopefully we can get that by the end of April and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.